is a thing of beauty and extraordinary expense. This is a Bosch VCI, which sounds like vehicle connection interface or something, communication interface it might even be. And this is the genuine one that all the Land Rovers dealers use. And this is just a bit of hardware that basically connects to your ODB2 port on your car to your USB. In this video, we are gonna try and set it up and this is a series of videos where we're gonna show you how to use the genuine Topics Cloud. Um, anyone can download Topics Cloud and use it. You have to pay like 60 quid an hour, but it basically, but you need a VCI. Now there are different types of VCI available and we will in due course review them all. This is the most expensive, recommended, genuine dealer level one and it's about 1,500 pounds. What's that in dollars? I don't know. Right, now, in this kit you will get a network cable. You will get a USB cable. Right, we'll see how all this works. You will get a ODB2 to whatever that is, RS232 cable. So that's the bit we're gonna plug in the car. And what we're really interested in is this dongly thing here. But, the thing you will forget. Right, so that is the main dongly thing, right? So this is the big bucks, 1,500 pound thing. Now, sellotape to the lid of your box. I put this around it because I was worried I was gonna lose it. Is a little wireless dongle. So we will need that. So basically, this is gonna, when you set it up, you can use the cable, the USB cable to link to your computer. So that's how we'll do it first. We'll set it up. But then once you set it up, you can use the wireless. And actually you can take the bottom off this. I've had it apart already. Look, bonus feature. Urgh. You can take this rubbery bit off the bottom. There you go, right? And this is, like, not a lot of people know this. And then in the bottom, it, under that cover, you've got the dongle. So I guess that wireless dongle and that wireless dongle are sort of a pair of wireless dongly talk to each other things, right? But I couldn't find a reset button on it, but in the end, we didn't need a reset button. It was user error. Right, let's grab that, let's grab that. We'll leave the network cable. And let's go over to the car and see. We've got one willing donor car here. Right. The first thing we need to do is plug this cable into the car. So join me this way, Liz. Yeah, you go around the back there. So this is going into the ODB2 port, which we know where it is, don't we? Right then. Oh, it's under here. Okay, and then we push that in. Right. So now we're connected to the car. Now, you'll be able to leave your your little device in the car once you've got it set up. But for now, we're gonna leave it under there. It's a bit weird, because then you've got to plug this in here. Right, so into that end there. Plug this in, bush. Right, put that in there. Tighten up the screws. Oh look, and it all comes to life. Look, for the life of me. Now, these buttons here are key. When This is when it's connected to a computer, and this is when it's connected to a car. No Sherlock. <laughs> right, and now we need and they do give you a decent length of cable. So now we need the USB, goes into the USB port on there. All right, USB B, I think that is. All right, oh, I got it the right way up, yeah. All right. And then the USB A goes into our laptop. Now this laptop, I have not set up for this. So this is gonna be a, I've got it set up on another laptop, but I'm gonna try and do it completely to go. Right, so there you go. So now we have got the computer connected to the VCI and the VCI connected to the car. So now we need to download some software. So I will get a spreadsheet up on here, which I'll put some links on and you can all use this spreadsheet. Basically we need the, um, there is JLR, I've got a JLR installer. So you install the installer and then that gives you the links to everything you need. So we are gonna now install the JLR installer, we're all good. So I've got this spreadsheet, so I'm on the spreadsheet. So now you can only do this on a Windows PC. It's not suitable for a Mac, so on a Windows PC. And what we're gonna do is download this installer software, which will give us all of this. And then we can download topics, cloud, VCI drivers, the diagnostics thingy, and everything we need. So I've got the link here. If we click this link, this should take us to the installer and it's gonna go that and we'll save that. So it's in download, save that. It's gone up to the top here. Right, so there you go. This, it's a zip file, I think. Is it gonna open it? Here we go. No, we ain't gonna buy that. Right, double click on that. 
and it should. Right, so that's now, and this is everything we need to download. So it's saying first download Google Chrome. We've already got Google Chrome running. Right, then you need your Topics Cloud VCI drivers. So this, let's be clear, this VCI driver is only for the Bosch one. If you use a Diagnostics Associate or another one, you don't need this program because we're what we're setting up now is that we need that one. So we'll do that. Um, so this basically, that installer just takes you to everything you need step by step. So this looks like it's installing it to my downloads now. That's an executable file, so we should, when it's downloaded, we should better double click on that. Okay, come on baby. Open file, there it goes. We're gonna let it save changes, yes, yes, yes. Right, so this is now installing, okay? So this, is, I think it's something called the VCI Manager, okay? And it's preparing to install. Okay, and we're just going to go, yeah, do you want to install this Bosch stuff? That's where it's going to do it. We're going to install it. Bam, bam, bam. We'll let this do its thing. So that's finished. That's finished. There you go. Oh, my goodness. What's it? Am I, I'm not doing the same thing again, am I? I'm going to loop a doom here. Oh, is there an updated version? Anyway, finish. Right, USB configuring in page. Do not disconnect the VCI from the PC. So we've got any lights flashing on the PC, on the VCI? Oh, there's some light flashing down there, isn't there? Uh, on the computer, I just saw it flicker green. I know that or it's hallucinating. Now, let me just type VCI here, see if I can find it. VCI. Right, so if you type VCI, you'll get the VCI Manager app. So let's go and, um, let's go and get that going. Right, so this is what we're trying to get to. So this is the VCI manager. Now, this is quite important. So at the moment, it's connected with the USB. If I disconnect it, watch what happens, right? It's not connected, okay? So you, you should see, wait for it to register, you should see the USB. Right, now that all that means it's available to connect. It's not actually connected. It's a bit weird, right? So you can select it and then you can go, I want to connect to this. Now, we, this is only for setting up. You don't need to do this, and it's quite important. You, you mustn't run this when you're running the topics. We'll talk about that later, though. Right. So when it's connected, you should get a green tick, and you will notice on the, that little green light there, it's flashing away on that next to the computer. Right, so now what we can do is you can do some setup. So you shouldn't really need to do anything. This is the wireless settings for your dongle. Okay, make sure you've got your wireless active, okay? And then we should better, that should be all we need to do. There should be, this tool is just really, you don't use this ever again in your life. It's just to set it up and check it's all working. And now we should better go like this. We should now be to disconnect the USB cable, okay? Right, and it's been, it's been disconnected, okay? And then you should, it should now be able to find, ah! If we plug this dongle in, right? So now let's try the dongly thing, right? So that should be all ready to work now. Get this in, okay? Now, hopefully we will see, it will find this. Let's have a look, give it a minute. Right, we've just worked something out. So you need to have your dongle in one USB and your cable in your other. So what it must do is it must, the computer must go, well that's your, that, and it must go, hello, let me introduce you to the dongle. So then it knows the two are paired together. And then when you unplug your USB cable, look what happens. You get all the all the bars come on. So that, bear in mind this isn't connected now. That That's just showing I can see a Wi-Fi signal. You can select that and connect to it. Okay. And that will tell you all the settings. So let me just check it's connecting. Oh, it's taking a while, isn't it? Yeah. Let me make sure it's got all happy. And now we are wirelessly connected. We've got a tick on there and we've got the computer. Zoom right in and show them, Alicia. You've got the computer button all flashing away. Right, so that is the first part of the setup done. Now, never open this program again. Trust me, it, it, you can't, the way it works is you cannot connect to Topics Cloud and to your PC locally. It, it can't do it. Um, and a lot of people make this mistake. I did at first, right? So now what we've got to do is go and get a Topics Cloud account. So let me show you how to do that. Right. Actually, before we get a Topics Cloud, we're going to go and install the DDA, which is the 
direct diagnostic something or other? Will it tell us what it is? So again, so it's the, there you go. It's the diagnostics device agent. So this now is what will control the VCI manager was just for setting it up, right? The direct, the diagnostic device agent will now control that. So we'll wait for that to download. I've got the device agent ready to install now. Oop. So here we go. So that's installed. Do you want to install changes? Right, this is going to rattle along. Oh, that was quick. Right. Yeah, and th this is the logo you get, this sort of funky X, which I think is the Topics logo. Right, so it says English. Do we want to make changes? Yeah. Okay, Diagnostic Device Agent Setup Wizard next. Right, so what's it doing? Checking my black. It's a diagnostic device agent. You'll be redirected to the Topics website. So this is where we now need to have a Topics account. Okay, right, and then we're going to allow it access. Okay, so you'll have to click for... Now, if you haven't already registered, you'll have to register here, but I've got a registration. But the process for registering is not too bad, but basically you need to tell Land Rover you're an independent car repairer, which undoubtedly, if you're watching this video, you are. And I don't know... Even if you're working on your own car, select English or we'll select the cookie policy and then put your username here. Right, so now you can see we're logged in. It's got my name at the top here. And so we're all logged in. So we haven't paid a penny for this. This is so far, we haven't paid a penny. This is free access to the public bit of topics. Now, this is key. You don't want to pay any money and start diagnosing the car until you've checked everything's working. So we've got an error occurring. Something or other, I don't know what that is. Diagnostics, that, that data. So something's going right. So it's diagnostic device agent, right. So let's have a look. So let's submit that. Select destination. This is where it's gonna store its files. It's installing. So let's see. So this is the diagnostic device agent installation. So this is what's gonna basically control the VCI. So hopefully this is going to set up a wireless link to the VCI and it will tell us here that we're all connected and ready to go. So let's let it set itself up. Right. So there we go. That's finished that. Right now, hopefully it should launch the diagnostics device agent now. Right. Diagnostic agent is running. Right. Now this, I'll show you this bit because it actually lives in this little tray down here in a minute. We'll, I'll show you, but let's have a look. So it's just doing an update, it looks like. It's saying there's a new agent, device agent that must be installed. So we'll install that. It's a bit of a palaver, isn't it? Yeah. But let's keep going. Here it goes. It wants me to allow access again. But once it's set up and we're all done, it should be, it should just, you come to your car, you'll plug it in and you'll be away to go. So let's just get through this setup. It wants me to log in again. We'll log in again. Right. Now the device agent started to go now. And this is what it's doing. So this is what you're, so it's authenticating the user. So once I log in and you can see now it's clicking through all the things. It's checking the chat. Now, and you'll actually hear the car wake up in a second. Yeah, the car's, the car's making whirring and clicking noise. It's connecting to the vehicle. It's downloading the diagnostics data. It's now going all the way through and it's saying, would you like to go to the topics vehicle page? So let's go and have a look for the, so this should take me to the vi right. Okay, so this takes you to this screen. Now, if you now wanna go and look inside your vehicle at defect codes, and I'll show you some cool stuff, you need to go to the faults and breakdown, okay? Okay, now this is where you need to purchase a subscription. So if you go here, this is where you've gotta pay the money. Now, you can buy it, so independent module programming, It'll if I just wanna do Land Rover, and then period selected an hour, and that's the price you've got to pay. So that's £63 with the VAT, £74 for an hour, okay? Now, that's all well and good. So that's when you're at that stage. But what I've done is I've actually made a spreadsheet that shows you all the commands. Right, so the subject for another video, but what I've done, and I'll share a link for this, is I've actually hand-copied all the contents out so that you don't have to pay the £60 and, 
until and then explore it you can actually explore it on my spreadsheet so if you go to vehicle and this is like represents a button it will go to this tab down here okay and then these are the sort of things you can do add or remove an expedition rack add or remove deployable side steps tow bars um there are some really cool you can clear defect codes obviously you can read defects codes you can look at the odometer discrepancy test and where was that one about the the um enable or disable this one here enable disable factory speed limit so you can take a speed limiter off um and there's all sorts you can do some stuff with ccf files so i've written out all the commands and then for each of the modules down here these are all the modules so uh, you can be able to click on that, the ABS, which stands for anti lock And these are all the operations you can do. So feel free to have a look at my spreadsheet. And obviously that's just based on what I could see on my car. I've done the 90 and the 110. And some I've got some modules on the 90 because it's mild hybrid that I didn't on the 110. But that's for now. We'll do another video where we start doing things on there, like changing tyre size or doing some other stuff. Um, and if there's anything you want me to do. What we're actually trying to do is to activate the brand new 13 inch screen and i think i know what i've got to do but i've tried it and it hasn't worked so i need a bit of help if anyone's out there can help me but basically you go along the bottom here to the idma which stands for the interactive display and what i need to do is to go into module programming and replace the module i've done that but it's coming up with a communication error so i'm a bit stuck at the moment but that's what I'm trying to do, why I've downloaded and bought the Bosch VCI is I'm trying to get to that, but it's a work in progress. Right, that's enough fun for the day. Um, let me know if you want to do any more and we'll work it out together. So that's Topics Cloud. So bear in mind, this is diagnostics. It's all cloud based. So there's nothing really much we've downloaded onto the computer, just the sort of app to open it up and the diagnostic agent. Right, that's my weekend's work conveyed to you in, in 20 minutes. I hope it helps.